Hey dad, just calling in to make sure you guys made it to Colorado, okay? Yeah, everything is just fine here. I haven't burned down the place yet. I was getting ready to go out fishing in the lake. It's a beautiful day outside. What are you doing? Oh wow, sounds like you guys are gonna have a fun time. Well, I'm gonna leave you here then. Tell everyone I said bye and I love them. All right, bye. Hey man, what's up? Whoa, calm down, calm down. She's not responding? Is she breathing? Look, call 911, I'll be there in a minute. Hey dad, it's me again. Simon just called and told me that her mom became ill and collapsed on the floor. Her symptoms? I'm not sure, shallow breathing? I know, I told Simon to call 911 and we're on the way to the hospital to see where the situation is. I'll call you back when we figure something out. All right. Hey, give me a good. Okay, we're at the hospital right now. They just got her out of the ambulance and are rushing her into the emergency room. Well, from the looks of it, it looks like her hair has completely fallen out. If that's cancer, then that is a scary version of it. This happened like so quick. They just got her into the hospital. I gotta go. Okay, I just got back from the hospital and it is horrible in there. His mom is now losing blood out of every opening in her body and her skin is completely dry. Dad, the hallways were crowded with people who became ill. I even saw some of my friends and teachers in there. That's how bad it was. Okay. What? Behind the bookcase? All right, I'll head home right now. Wait, samples? Are you sure they will allow me to take those? All right, I'll, I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. I was able to get three blood samples of Jess, Frank, and James and some hair samples from my teachers I saw over there. Yes, I'm currently home right now and I'm getting the I'm getting ready to enter into the secret laboratory you were talking about. I'll call you back when I'm in it. Okay, so I'm in the lab now. What do you want me to do? Uh, yeah, I took chemistry back in sophomore year. We mostly did experiments on what certain type of chemical do. All right, putting the blood in the test tubes now. Now what? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's strange. Hey, specific ones come a certain come, specific bacteria come from a certain type of disease, right? Okay, so the different hair, the different blood samples I've gathered have appear to have different types of bacteria in them, if that makes sense. Yeah, like Steve's blood sample has ball bacteria connected together, while Mr. Johnson's here has spiral and coil shaped bacteria. Uh, Miss Beverly has a curved rod and oval, I think. The hair samples? I was about to check them now, give me a second. Yep, it's the same thing with the hair samples. Have you ever seen that before? Okay. Okay, so let me get this straight. So the North Dakota facility you were working at, they were trying to create a sort of super drug that would be able to cure all sorts of diseases like Ebola and cancer, right? Okay, I know that. So it backfired and created a sort of super disease instead, and now it's airborne. Okay, great. You know, I've noticed something about about all of this. How am I not affected yet? I mean, like, I went to a hospital where the hallways were crowded with all sorts of people who became ill. I'm pretty sure half of the town was in there. Uh, I can't if there are any syringes around. Here's one. Uh, give me a minute. Ow! Alright. Alright, checking now. 
Whoa. Okay, that that's strange. There's something in my blood. I don't know what it is though. I can just send you an image if that's fine. How? Oh, I have my ways. There are cameras on microscopes, right? No, it's fine. I'll, I'll use my phone. I'll be right back in a minute.